Greetings, everybody. Welcome to your video series on an introduction to sociology. The topic for this video, qualitative versus quantitative research. Let's get started. So what exactly is the difference between qualitative and quantitative research? Quantitative is more numbers based. We are looking at percentages of people who answer a question a certain way, or um, a percent of people based on their demographics, their race and ethnicity, their sex or gender. Qualitative is more story-based. We are actually interviewing people or we're providing open-ended questions. We're getting more than a yes or no or a percent of this or a percent of that. Both are helpful in social science research. Quantitative tends to be more objective. There can be some subjectivity to qualitative, but nonetheless, we uh, need and rely on both to give us a good picture of what's going on when it comes to human behavior. Some questions that we are interested in with quantitative research, some examples might be what percent of people answered yes or no to a particular question? Uh, what percent of the respondents are male, female, or trans, if they identify as trans? Number three, how does New Mexico compare to Arizona, for example? What age group is most likely to vote? What is the median income for a particular group of people? Again, you can see these are all looking at kind of percentages, what percent answered this way, what percent answered that way. We don't really get any individualized information. We're looking at this sort of from a macro level perspective. Whereas qualitative, again, more interview type questions where we're sitting down with a group of people or an individual. Questions from a qualitative perspective might look more like, why did you answer yes? As a woman, what do you think? What are people in New Mexico saying as compared to people in Arizona? Why are you planning to vote? How do you make your money? You can see the difference in how the questions are phrased between quantitative and qualitative. Qualitative gives people much more room to elaborate and explain their answer, whereas quantitative, we're just getting a quick snapshot of what percent does this or that. The ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. Again, research is designed, hopefully, to bring about some kind of change or better understanding in our society. And the beginning of, uh, beginnings of our research, uh, the questions we're asking and the topics we're addressing can sometimes sound a little crazy to everybody or to other people. But when we conclude our research and we find our final outcome, uh, sometimes it can make a lot more sense than when we first started. In this class, you'll have an opportunity to design a research uh, project. You won't actually be doing research, but you'll have a chance to design a, a model if you select that assignment. So what would you like to study and what would your research model look like? As a review, here are the six steps to a research uh, project or the scientific research method. Step one, asking a question. Step two, researching existing sources. Step three, formulate a hypothesis. Step four, design and conduct a study. Step five, drawing your conclusions. And then lastly, reporting those results, and hopefully bringing about some positive change. That's going to do it for now. 